Welcome back to Mr. Gard's Maths Class. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at rotation of shapes. Now, objects can be rotated either clockwise or anti-clockwise. They also have rotational symmetry. So a shape that can be spun around you know, 90 degrees and then appear to be the original shape is said to have rotational symmetry. This also can therefore have an order of rotational symmetry. So we're going to first have a look at the square in the middle of the screen now. You can probably imagine, and I've tried already, but if I turn that square around 90 degrees, it's going to appear to be a square. If I turn it again, it's 90 degrees, and oh, it's a square again and so on. What we find is that it has an order of rotation or an order of rotational symmetry of four. In other words, you can get four matching images of a square in one full rotation. If I was to do the same thing with a triangle, I could spin that triangle 120 degrees and it will reappear as a triangle. I do it again and again. So it has a rotational symmetry of three. In other words, there are three ways you can get that matching image here as you spin it around a point. And then finally, a circle. You can turn it just a tiny amount or you can turn it a lot. But ultimately, there's actually an infinite number of ways in which it has rotational symmetry. You'll find that some shapes have more than others. You might have a rectangle. I just can't add this one in. A rectangle, you might think, oh, it's similar to a square with four, but it actually has to be turned 180 degrees in order to make it appear as this rectangle again. If I try and turn that just 90 degrees, it's going to appear to be that shape, which is not a matching image of the original. So its order of rotation or symmetry is 2. Now just to give you a little example, up here in green, I've got a small question. It says rotate triangle ABC. 90 degrees around point P. So rather than just spinning the triangle sort of on the spot and having it look sort of something like that, what we find is we here's my starting point P and I'm going to use C just because it's the closest. And I'm going to draw kind of a, a dotted line to C. Now in order to rotate this 90 degrees, and in this case we'll say it's clockwise, I'm going to then draw a little image like this. And so that's turning 90 degrees. And I've replaced that dotted line and put it down here. Now, this becomes my new point C. I can do the same thing with B. Like so. And that's going to end up down here. Like so. That's my point B. I can also see because this C to B line is pointing sort of horizontally, because I've turned it 90 degrees, the next one has to go down like that. And then if I match up my images, A is going to appear to be here. Like so. Now if I'd colour coded each individual side, you might have been able to see. It sort of did that very fine one. I just moved my red line up to A. Isn't it 90 degrees? My red line to Now you can draw an image that has been rotated around a point 
especially when that point is not part of the original picture. Hopefully that's of some help. You'll find some, I guess, trickier questions than that, but this should give you enough information to be able to solve some of the harder problems. All right, thank you for listening.